Hey guys, Bad Infos here and welcome to an unboxing, showcase and review video of the Audio-Technica AR3 BT Sonic Fuel headphones. Uh, let's go! The Audio-Technica AR3 Sonic Fuel Bluetooth headphones retail for 190 level, which is Bulgarian currency, which is about 120 US dollars. And in this video you're gonna see everything about it, the unboxing, the showcase, how I'm gonna show you how to pair these to your phone and to your PC. If you wanna watch a particular part of this video, just check the timestamps on the bottom and skip to that part. And make sure to watch the last part of this video so you can see why this was my worst purchase in the, maybe the last 6 or 7 years. So let's go with the unboxing first. The first part is the unboxing. It's a pretty standard unboxing, pretty standard box. First of all you get these cables. We have the charging cable, which is this cable. It does not come with any uh, wires or uh, anything like that. This is how big it is. And this is USB to micro USB as you can see. If it focuses, whatever. This is the first cable you get. This is the AUX cable. I'm gonna Take it off and screw it or whatever it's called, I don't know. I am not speaking the English. <laughs> this is the AUX cable, which has this to control the volume. More on this later, I'm gonna tell you why it sucks. But this is how it looks and this is how long it is. A little bit longer than the charging cable, just a little bit longer. So this is it for the cables, let's continue. This is the box itself, let's see, that fell, whatever. This is the box, it's a pretty interesting box, I have never seen anything like this before. And this is the documentation, there's lots of documentation here. I'll show it to you just quickly you don't need to see everything well i guess you do want to see everything because this is an unboxing you want to see everything in the case uh, by the way i want to say that i already unboxed this and i put it all together just to show you guys what's exactly in the box this is the first sheet of paper some not so interesting stuff it's on chinese i can't read it chinese or japanese whatever this is the second documentation Again, nothing super interesting here. Next, we have a big sheet of paper. This is it. Again, nothing so interesting. I have seen some unboxing with a book inside the, the box. This box. I didn't get a book, this is all I got. So, I don't know. Maybe the US is different. In the US you get different stuff. Who knows? This is... This, nothing interesting again, the other technical symbol is over here. And this is the last one, this is the most useful one, I guess. It shows you how to pair everything in many languages. Is it upside down? Of course it's upside down. <laughs> this is it on both sides. Yep, this is it for all the documentation again. I didn't get a book, I guess. Some people, I saw some people get a book. And this is the box of the headphones themselves you pull this up and you pull this down like this and you open it up you can see it yes like that Woo! okay there we go this is the these are the headphones it does not come with a carrying case which is super sad because you would expect something this expensive to have you know, a carrying case at least, because my microphone got one, it's from Audio Technica, it got one, but this didn't, did not get one. These are the headphones, like that. I'm gonna give you a showcase later, but this is how they look. This is what they come in. This is the packaging, and this is all for the unboxing part. Let me show you first of all, uh, give you a showcase of the headphones. Here is a close-up of the headphones. As you can see, they can fold all the way up, which makes it convenient for storage. Unfortunately, these cannot rotate 90 degrees and can barely move. You can even adjust them to fit your head. 
they have nice metal pieces on the sides. On the left side we have a charging port, flicking this changes the volume, skips songs and even answers calls. Yes guys, they have a built-in microphone too. And next to it we have the aux port. And on the right side we have a switch, which turns the Bluetooth on and off. When you put them on, they cover your entire ears and are traditionally a bit bigger than standard on-ear headphones. You can place them under your hoodie or even over it without any pesky cables in your way. Pairing these headphones to a phone or a tablet is super easy. All you gotta do is find this switch over here, which I showed you before, turn it on, turn on the Bluetooth on your device, the phone or the tablet, whatever you have, and just select this device, it's gonna find it, that's how easy it is. Now, pairing it with, uh, with the computer is a little bit more difficult. First of all, you gotta know the difference between a data transfer Bluetooth and a Bluetooth adapter. This is not gonna work. If you try to pair the, the headphones to a computer with a data transfer Bluetooth, it's not gonna work. You gotta find something like this. This is an actual Bluetooth adapter. So get one of these. Asus provides one, it's uh, I think $15. So get that. It's pretty good, pretty good quality. And then you can pair it. First, you need to plug in your Bluetooth adapter to your PC. After you do, this little icon should appear on your taskbar. Flick this button on the headphones and the light should start blinking. A small message should appear on your desktop, but it may not. If it doesn't, right click on the Bluetooth icon and select Add a Bluetooth device. Click on the plus on the top and on Bluetooth. After it finds your headphones, simply click on the name, wait a bit and you are done. The headphones have been paired. Ok guys, it's time for a review. You're gonna hear my thoughts about these things. First of all, let's begin with the good things. Now the good thing is that the quality of this is great. Quality, I mean the build quality, not anything else. The build quality is actually really good. This is steel and if you drop these, they're not gonna break. I think so at least. It looks very sturdy, no matter how much you shake them or whatever, it is gonna... Uh, it's very good build quality. Now, this is all the good things I can say about these headphones. What you care about is the sound, right? Now let me bring your attention to these headphones. Do you know how this, how much this cost? It's about thirteen dollars, thirty lever, which is actually about eighteen dollars. Yeah, eighteen twenty dollars. This cost. This wired provides the same exact quality as these not wired. The same exact quality. One hundred and twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. $100 more for the same exact quality. If you want good quality, what you gotta do is plug this in. Make it wired. You're paying 120 bucks for a wired one. Because if you want good quality, you gotta do it wired. The other thing is, if you're gonna use this on your PC, this is the cable you get. It is super, super short. My computer is pretty far away from me. And this, these are the headphones I actually use. Let me show them to you. These are the headphones I use for my computer. So many cables, holy crap. And this is the cable for it. I need this a cable this uh, size. I cannot use this wired to my computer. The next thing is, as you saw, we have, uh, you know, the increases of volume and decreases of volume. This does not work when these are wired, it does not work. And you're gonna say now, uh, of course it doesn't work, it has this over here, what? So many cables, holy crap. It has this on the cable itself, right? This is for increasing and decreasing volume. Well, this doesn't work too. This does not work, this works only with your phone. If you're on the PC, you cannot use this. So, you cannot use the increases and decreases of volume on the device itself, on the hardware the headphones and you can't use this. So what is the option? If you're on 
a laptop, you can use the button combination to decrease the volume and increase the volume, right? On the PC you don't have that luxury. Of course you can make macros to do that, but why should you? You have to manually go with your mouse to the bottom and increase and decrease the volume. If you're in a game, what you gotta do is exit out of the game and do it. If you're watching a movie, let's say the monitor is all the way over there. You're on your bed, laying down, watching a movie. And all of a sudden, it just explosions happen and whatnot. You can't decrease it with this. You gotta get up, stop the movie, and uh, increase and decrease the volume that way. This is utter bull crap. Seriously. Who thought of this design? I don't understand. And wireless. These have worse sound than these. Worse sound. This is have... Actually, no, this is... One hundred, yeah, 100 uh, level six years ago. <laughs> Actually, five years ago, I think. Five years ago, this costed 100 level. And this currently costs $120, 190 level. Yeah. Uh, of course, with this, it provides good sound. Very good sound. Very, very good sound. I'm very happy with this. However, you purchase these headphones wireless to have the wireless capabilities and you have absolutely terrible sound guys more on the sound so you put them on listen to music watch a movie whatever when the sound of the movie or a song whatever stops there's background noise very loud background noise when it's wireless of course not wired when it's wireless there's constant background noise when about five seconds pass this sound decreases the volume it's still there it's barely audible, but it's still there. And afterwards, a beeping sound starts. A constant beeping sound, like beep, 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 just like that. It's barely audible, but you can still hear it in a quiet environment. Like when you're home, you can constantly hear it. So you'll constantly hear this sound. If you want to avoid that, which cable is it? This cable. If you want to avoid that, you plug this in that's my other huge gripe with these headphones. I bought it for the sound, I bought it for the wireless ca capabilities. I cannot use it for wireless capabilities, what the heck? The other thing, oh my goodness. It says it provides 10 meters range, you can see it right over here. What they don't tell you about is that if you go behind a wall in the other room, for instance this is the room, there's a wall between them and this is another room. If you do that, if there's a wall behind this, and the headphones, you're gonna constantly be interrupted. The sound is constantly gonna get interrupted. This is what they don't tell you about. This cannot go through walls. And of course I tried it with this and I tried it with my phone. So you can't say it's because of this adapter. It is because of the headphones. Other small stuff is, for instance, the weight, but this is completely normal. This is Bluetooth and it needs some weight to it, of course, for the device to work Bluetooth wireless. And I gotta say, for so much less, for $100 less, you get so much more with these. You get an actual microphone, which actually works, and the same quality, guys. This is crazy. You get a long cable, as you can see, this cable is actually pretty long. Longer than this cable with these headphones, and you get so much more for so much less. I, I don't get it, guys. Now, I'm not saying this because I'm a hater of audio technica or whatnot. This microphone I have used for two years and I'm super happy and the reason why I got this is because I'm happy with their products. I expected something super cool. But I didn't get it. It's so annoying guys. You paid so much for nothing. And the other thing is that this is not actually very comfy. This looks soft and whatnot but it's not actually comfy. I use it for like 30 minutes and I got a headache which I don't know, it's maybe because of the weight. I'm not sure guys, but I'm gonna actually return these for get a full refund and never purchase any headphones from Audio Technica again. However, as a microphone, if I ever upgrade my microphone, it's probably gonna be from Audio Technica because I'm really, ha really happy with their uh, microphones, but not with their headphones. Seriously, this is <laughs> for 40 bucks, sure. 
this is a good purchase. But for 120 bucks, this is utter garbage. Seriously, guys, do not get these headphones. I encourage you not to get these headphones. Even, of course, uh, it's your choice. If you like what you saw, then purchase them. It's entirely your choice. And that, I think, is my last gripe with them. If I use them for longer, I know I'm gonna find even more stuff to complain about. But, guys, I know I'm aware that these are not made for a PC. Of course, these are made for joggers, for for your phone mostly, but there's no excuse for the quality of the sound. You pay so much cash for terrible sound. The sound is as good as this wired. Anyway guys, this is it for the review and the showcase and the pairing tutorial whatever. You can subscribe to my channel for more unboxings and whatnot and more gaming videos. So thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.